sketching is an activity that many people enjoy, but few have mastered. As a result, creating high-quality sketches in software applications like Sketchbook Pro requires not only learning the user interface, but learning the art itself. Although the majority of people may not want to train to become skilled artists, some may want to experience what it feels like to have those skills. In this video, we present Sketch Sketch Revolution, a new tutorial system that allows any user to experience the success of sketching content previously created by an expert artist. Sketch Sketch Revolution not only guides users through the user interface, but it also provides assistance with the actual sketching. Tutorials are generated automatically from authored content. Authors simply draw, and the system will automatically record the UI actions and the individual strokes that they carry out. To provide a richer tutorial experience, authors can include step names and details as they work. Authors can also associate foundational concepts from a preset list to any relevant step in their workflow. These lessons contain an example image and accompanying text that briefly describes a fundamental drawing concept such as lighting, perspectives, or proportions. When a tutorial begins, the user is presented with a splash screen that displays the final image that they will be creating. The user begins with a blank canvas. At the top of the step navigation dialog, any information that the author had manually entered for the step is presented. If available, a button displays the step's associated foundational concept image. Below the author entered information, two thumbnail images are displayed. One is an image of the drawing after the current drawing step is completed, and the other is an image of the drawing upon completion of the whole tutorial. At the bottom, the current step instruction is displayed. Step instructions for user interface interactions are also displayed in callouts next to the relevant user interface element. For UI steps requiring dragging or gesture operations, images and additional instructions are also presented within the callout. When the user successfully completes a step, a green checkmark is displayed and the tutorial automatically progresses to the next step. Sometimes, a user may want to continue to the next step without correctly completing the current one as instructed. For example, here a user chooses to use blue instead of the pink that the original author used. To manually proceed, they can click the next button and confirm they're skipping the step. The system automatically adapts to the UI state to ensure that the correct instruction is always displayed. For example, if a required palette for a step is not open, or the user closes it before completing the step, then the callout will instruct the user to first open the palette. For steps that require setting a parameter to a continuous value, such as the brush size or color, the user only needs to set the value within a threshold of the target value for the tutorial to progress to the next step. After required UI steps are completed, the user will be instructed to draw. For drawing steps, a preview stroke is played, showing the exact stroke, including the temporal dynamics, that the original author used. The user then tries to replicate this stroke. Feedback is provided that shows the user how closely their stroke matched the author's stroke, both in terms of shape and timing. The user can overdraw on their stroke to replace it. Once satisfied, the user presses the space bar to advance to the next stroke, and the process is repeated until the next UI step is encountered. Pen and pencil strokes are automatically corrected using a new algorithm that interpolates between the user and author strokes as seen in this testing environment. The default is to correct to 50% between the user stroke and the author's original stroke. Airbrushing and eraser strokes are not corrected. During drawing steps, several functions on the step navigation dialog can be used. The user can preview the current strokes, the current step, and the final image. All of these buttons are spring-loaded and can also be accessed through the keyboard hotkeys. The user can also replay the current preview stroke. Lastly, the user can click Insert Rest of Step. This button will automatically fill in any remaining content for the current step and proceed to the next. This can be useful for long, repetitive steps. Sketch Sketch Revolution allows users to configure their tutorial experience. The Artistic Assistance dialog allows users to adjust the magnitude to which the strokes are corrected. At 0, no correction is applied, while at 100, strokes snap exactly to the author's original stroke. There are also sliders to control the opacities of the preview strokes, 
the author's completed step, and the final image. Users can also enable and disable the positional callouts and choose to enter a freeform mode where they can draw or perform UI actions without impacting the tutorial. In summary, Sketch Sketch Revolution provides a rich and flexible tutorial experience, allowing users to learn about both the software application UI and about sketching while enjoying the experience of successfully creating expert artistic content.